The sauna is set to 70 Celsius. That's 158 degrees Fahrenheit. A sauna is a room that is heated. That's the timer. Let's you keep track of how long you've been in the sauna. 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually uh, heated by the rocks down below. Underneath the rocks is an electric coil. Up on the wall is a thermometer and a uh, hygrometer that measures relative humidity. Temperature inside is actually at 75 degrees Celsius with 65% relative humidity. That's a temperature of 167 for those working in Fahrenheit. But in the metric system, we work with Celsius, the Celsius system. I only put the Fahrenheit values up as a reference for those of you who are more used to that system. But we'll be working solely in the Celsius system. Inside my freezer, temperature is about negative 3 degrees Celsius, or about 26.6 Fahrenheit. It's actually colder, but I was doing the measurement with the door open, and the thermometer wasn't yet down to that temperature. Water freezes and melts at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 Celsius. Here we can actually see it's up around 3 degrees. This is a thermometer sitting in a glass of ice water. But this is the bottom of the Celsius scale. Zero is the freezing point of water and the melting point for ice. So zero is the bottom of the Celsius scale, if you will, the zero for the Celsius scale. Up here in the refrigerator, again, I really didn't leave it in long enough. It's showing 23 degrees. But that that uh, refrigerator is below that temperature. But if you put coconut oil in the refrigerator, this is what you get. That's a bottle of coconut oil. It is frozen solid. Coconut oil freezes right around the 23-24 degree mark. Now, in the house, the temperature, the room temperature, if you will, can be seen here at just over 29. If you look very closely, you can see a little silver line at 29.5 degrees Celsius, around about 85 degrees. At this temperature, the coconut oil is a liquid a pale golden yellow colored liquid. So the coconut oil has melted, if you will, at the at about 23 degrees Celsius. Here the thermometer has been placed outside in the shade uh, during the daytime. 35 degrees in the shade, it's 35 Celsius in the shade. Just a couple degrees up from that is human body temperature. Human body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. That's normal human body temperature, 37. Now, this isn't a medically accurate thermometer, but you can see that that's 35 and then up to 37. Here, I've set the thermometer under the sun outside. The sun is blazing hot right on that bulb, and the temperature in the sun is 40 degrees Celsius, about 104 Fahrenheit just above the gravel at least. The gravel is adding to the heat some. The top of the Celsius scale, if you will, or what we think of as the top, the other standardization point, is the boiling temp the water the temperature of boiling water. That's a hundred degrees Celsius. It's much easier to remember zero for freezing water and a hundred for boiling than the crazy numbers used in the Fahrenheit system of thirty two and two twelve. 0 and 100 is the metric temperature measurement system that we use in this class. And this week we'll be looking at temperature and heat. And today it was just a brief, quick introduction to temperature from the freezer all the way to the boiling water. 0, the melting point of ice, freezing point of water. 100, the boiling point of water. And some of the temperatures in between.